Hi, Dennis here to show you how to do a quick simple rendering of an exterior of a house using iRender Next. This video will cover one click to render ability. I will also show that there is no need to change the model or settings to get a great rendering, as well as going over the final results. So to start, we're obviously going to need a model. In my case, I'm just going to go to the 3D warehouse and download one. Now we need a model with a fair amount of detail as well as something that will cast some shadows. So in my case, um, I found a model before that I liked called Porch for our house. And let's download that. And yes, I do want to directly load this into my SketchUp model. So I know that you guys know how to do this, um, but I wanted to show this process to point out the fact that I am simply downloading this model from the warehouse. I am not changing the model or changing the settings in any way. We are going for a quick, simple render today. And uh, once this is done, I can show you just how easy that is to do. All right, so now let's place the model. Try not to crush Sang. Should probably delete him. All right, see you later, Sang. And let's just rotate till we find something that we like. How about this right here? This looks like this would work. Zoom in, position uh, the model where you want it. And once you get it where you want it, uh, you're ready to go. So now after you have already downloaded uh, iRender Next, you will simply go to your plugins menu and load iRender Next. Once you do that, a toolbar pops up. Now there's several buttons here that we will go over later, but today the only one that we're worried about is this guy here, the render button. Uh, because iRender Next su does such a great job of doing a simple quick render right out of the shoot without having to do any editing to the model or settings at all, we're just going to simply click this button and uh, let iRender do the work for us. So here we go. All right, well, it's extracting the faces now, and that will take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the uh, complexity and size of your model. So let's just let that happen. All right, now it's beginning to do the passes. Now you'll notice that it starts out with some rather harsh shadows here, but you'll notice that the more passes it does, the better it gets. So after every pass, the shadows become softer, the highlights become better. Um, and the longer it does it, and the more passes it does, the better. So be patient, and uh, you'll have a great result in the end. All right, here's the final image. And then here they are side by side. Note the soft shading and highlights created by iRender Next's lighting system. Also remember that this was done quickly and with no changes made to the model or settings at all. I think it's a pretty big improvement. All right, that'll do it for this video. But just to reiterate, we covered the one-click renderability, as well as going over the fact that there was no need to change any settings in the model, and we reviewed the final results. All right, thanks. See you again soon.